Hello, we amazing persons. I'm Winter, and this is my Ultra Flaco Challenge. We're up here in the sky, right where we left off more than a month ago. Oh, oh, yes, it's been that long, and yes, something did happen that made me wait for so long before getting back to getting wood. We're going back to this. And yes, I'm going to talk about it today. It's... Uh, I've spent so long... Uh, I swear I thought about this every single day so far. That was a bad idea. Get back here. Actually, I could have you here, I guess. I swear I thought about this every day. I've been thinking about how... What to say, how to say it, how much to say it. Stuff. <laughs> And uh, took me more than a month, but I finally figured out uh, mostly how to approach this, uh, how to explain this with you. So I'm going to start uh, with an example, with a personal example. And the personal example relates to the game The Walking Dead. Now, there's no need for you to have seen any of the videos I made about that game. And there's no need for you to know anything about the game, that game at all in the first place, so don't worry about it. There's no uh, requisite, prerequisites for <laughs> understanding what I'm, what I'm going to say here. I bought The Walking Dead game some time ago. I liked it, I made uh, a series of videos about it, I talked about that game with other people, all the people who get the profit out of selling the Walking Dead game, the people who produced it, the people who uh, uh, s sold it, programmers, <laughs> I guess that's the generic word everybody uses. Everybody who gains some sort of profit out of that game got my money. Whatever share of money they get, out of single copy of the game sold, they get my money. I am a very... Uh, I am a very cautious buyer. I rarely buy things if I don't already know that they're going to be good and that the people made whatever it is, be it a song, be it a game, be it a book. If, I, if I'm not 100% sure those people deserve my money, I, I don't buy it. I, read reviews, I watch let's plays, I borrowed the game from a friend to play it for myself before buying it. Uh, so I think the people who made the walk in that game deserved my money. Even if it's, you know, as I said, just uh, for, for every single pe person who walked on that, it's an incredibly small share of money. Uh, I probably didn't buy not even a coffee for any of them. Still, Because of the fact that uh, I talked about this game with my friends and relatives and uh, because of the fact that I made videos out of this game so other people I don't know personally I don't even know why I'm planning all of these trees even people I do not know personally got to know this game through me, through my videos Because of the fact that I talked about it, and uh, thus I shared my love for this game, other people happened to buy it. Now, I, I can't possibly know how many people bought the game because of me. I know for sure three persons did. These three persons told, told me. They came up to me and told me, hey, I... Uh, he told me about this game, I watched uh, your videos about this game, and I decided to buy this game because uh, uh, I got to know this game through you. There may be other people besides those three. Those three are the ones I know for sure. They bought the game after they got to know the game through me. There may be more, there may be more people who didn't watch my video and decided, hey, I like this game, I'm going to buy it, and they didn't tell me because, you know, it's not my business. <laughs> Why would they tell me what, what they spend their money on? But, let's stick to, the, to what I do know for sure, and what I do know for sure is that three people bought the game after they 
got to know the game through me. This means that uh, a total of four people in count counting me bought the game thanks to me. That starting from from me, from what I've done, started from my actions, started from the fact that I bought the game and then I shared the game. Oh, uh, th th that's doing the math. You can see that if I hadn't shared the game in the first place, if I had just bought it, played it, enjoyed it on my own, and then it was over there, I just went on with my life. If that had been the case, that's uh, four times less money, those same people who made the game and get profit out of this game, uh, I would have gotten otherwise. That's uh, In one case it's four, in the other it's one. So sharing made... The fact that I shared the game through videos, through talking, made a lot of difference. Now, actually, it's a very small difference. Four people buying a game or no people buying a game, that's... Uh, uh, I don't think we bought uh, anyone's lunch with that money together, but this doesn't make the reasoning any less uh, valid. I mean, if somebody with uh, hundreds of thousands of subscribers were to do the same thing I did, that would make a huge difference, uh, but it's still exactly the same thing. My point here is that sharing is a huge power, it's a huge tool, it's an amazing thing. And this is just uh, talking about uh, the difference uh, in profit that people, that, that, that the people who made whatever you're sharing are going to experience. Uh, this is without even approaching, but we're, we're going to talk about it, this is without even considering just the moral the consequences of this, you know, just for the sake of having four and four, I think I'm going to put more trees here. If I enjoy something, I'm going to share it. Not just because it's going to actually make the people who made whatever I'm sharing uh, uh, more, get more money out of it, but because just for just because I want to allow other people to enjoy things, if I, I mean how, how many artists, uh, how many singers and composers have you got, have you, do you know and like uh, that you discovered entirely on your own? I mean, you, most of the people who make music that you enjoy, you probably got to know them through by listening to one of their songs on, on the radio, on a television, on YouTube, or by having a friend telling you, hey, listen to these people. That's sharing. All those things are sharing and all those things brought you to, m made you know things that you wouldn't have gotten to know otherwise. I mean, just look at Minecraft. Minecraft is the biggest example of uh, something that got very famous through sharing, in particular through uh, Let's Plays. That's, uh, that's a very big example of the power of sharing. Mm-hmm. I... I'm simply trying to say that sharing is wonderful. It has lots of benefits for you, for other people, for people who made whatever you're sharing. Both just... Uh, you can talk both about uh, profits, about uh, money, or you can just talk about uh, simply making people happy, making people enjoy things, wonderful things, things that deserve to be enjoyed. Uh, I know of a couple of people who bought Minecraft after they got to know Minecraft through me. Because, yeah, there, <laughs> there were people that didn't have... that hadn't bought Minecraft even by the time I was making Let's Plays of it. Can you believe that? <laughs> but I fixed it. <laughs> uh, and again, it's a very, 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 very small difference, but uh, it doesn't make my reasoning any less true. Also, as I said, those are just the people I know for sure have bought the game after they got to know the game through me, but uh, there may be more people just didn't tell me they bought the game after they got to know it through me, and there may be all the people that those people talked to after they got the game, so maybe... <laughs> 
uh, I show this game to a friend and this friend of mine has another friend and this friend has yet another friend who is a very big YouTube personality and he made another let's play of it and he got thousands of people interested in it and it's all thanks to me! Or not, it's very unlikely, but it's still possible. That's the wonderful thing about sharing, it's free and it's powerful and it's awesome and you never know just how far the consequences of your sharing are going to go. So, sharing is awesome. <laughs> uh, that's the point I'm trying to make here. Sharing is awesome and whenever there's something you really like, you really enjoy and you really think more people should know of and enjoy, you should share it. That scared me. Mm. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going back up uh, without doing anything. I think I'll sleep. Oh, I hope I put enough torches up there. And that spider is scaring me. We derp bladder. Okay, uh, so that was the entire conversation I had about sharing. And again, when I share something, it's going to have very, very little and small consequences on the rest of the world. But then again, I'm the kind of person who never throws a piece of trash on the ground. Oh yeah, I wanted to make an axe, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> I never do it. If I have to, if I have to, I just keep it um, in my pockets for the entire day. But uh, until I find a trash bin, I'm, I'm not going to throw it away. That's just the kind of person I am. And uh, whenever I see a friend of mine or whoever to, they throw a piece of paper on the ground, I'm like, no, don't do it. <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do. But what kind of difference does it make if I throw that piece of paper on the ground or not? It's not going to change the world, it's not going to make it worse either. It's an incredibly small thing when compared to the kind of trash that is around the rest of the world. But uh, I still don't throw it on the ground, because I believe it's wrong and I don't do things I believe are wrong, even no matter how small the consequences would be. That would be... I would be a hypocrite otherwise. Now, how does this, how does all of this get back to Ultra Flat Core? When I record the episodes of Ultra Flat Core, I share two things. Besides all the things I talk about, but uh, more in general, I share two things. The first thing is Minecraft. Obviously, and I have no issues with it, I want to share Minecraft. Minecraft is amazing, more people should know about it, even if uh, the entire world by now should know about it. <laughs> It's entertaining, I like it, I like when other people make videos out of it, there's, there's nothing... I, I love sharing Minecraft videos. The second thing I share in this specific series of videos is the old childcore mod. And this is where the issue is. This is also the part that I'm slightly going to omit out of my... Uh, explanations. So I'll try to be a bit vague, but still give you possibly uh, an explanation that you can understand, not necessarily agree with, uh, but at least uh, understand and possibly respect. Thing is, because of recent events, I do not wish to share the Ultra Hardcore mod any longer. I do not believe it deserves to be shared any longer. And uh, I believe the person who made the old Chargo mod does not deserve to get uh, any more profit out of it. The person who made the old Chargo mod has only made it available for download through an end of fly link, which is that uh, small website that redirects you to five seconds of advertisements before sending you to the link you actually want to visit. And this, uh, in a very small, very, 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 very small amount of money goes to the person who, who made that, uh, who is sharing whatever is sharing through 
that link even if it is a very 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 very, very small amount of money the person who made the ultra commodity is gaining money out of it and uh, i do not wish this person to get the money through it any longer and i do not wish this person's mother to be known even more any longer because of recent events and those are the only things i'm going to not explain to you guys because if i were to do it uh what the issue i am having is is with the way this person acted recently and certain things this person said recently so if i were to explain exactly what uh, pissed me off i would have an entire i would have the rest of this video be about uh, talking bad about uh, talking bad about one person and that's uh, lame and that's bad i don't want to do that and uh, also this person deserves to do whatever he wants however he wants and i am no judge i can simply agree or disagree i'm not going to talk bad about this person or just tell other people that this person doesn't do things the way i think you should do them and just, i am I'm, I'm going to keep this very generic this person is things i do not agree with and this makes me not want to share this person's mods or whatever else he may have happened to do in his life any longer with the rest of the world. You may not agree with this. And I can understand perfectly why you wouldn't agree with this. I mean, why would I want to not play with the old hardcore mod any longer just because I don't like the person or I don't like what certain things the person who made this mod that did i mean those two things are unrelated i should i should be able to enjoy the mod itself anyways it doesn't matter what kind of person the person who made this is and i can understand the point of view but there are certain things that just uh, that i just care about and when those things do not happen they happen wrong they do not happen the way i want them to happen it just uh, it just makes me feel better. There was, for example, one person. Again, I'm going to be very generic with this, but there was once one person who was a part of the of the Sonic community, many Sonic communities, forums, websites. He was very well known. He used to make uh, music inspired by Sonic games, and he worked to make many well-known Sonic hacks. He was an administrator and a moderator in many well-known Sonic communities. And then one day, this person got kicked and banned out of every single forum and website he was a part of. And uh, the explanation we were given was that this person did a pretty serious, very serious crime in his personal life. It was it was, it was not related with any of the communities he was a part of, uh, or with uh, Sonic, with video games. It wasn't related to any of those, but this person was having legal issues and he did a pretty, pretty bad thing. That It was so bad that most people did not actually tell us what, uh, what he did specifically. Uh, I get to know that anyways, but because you know how the internet is, people still talk. <laughs> But anyways, after that, after that happened, I don't know what happened to this person, but and, and I don't care what happened about what happened to this person, what kind of for for how long he has been in jail or whatever. But the what what did happen was that uh, I downloaded many songs this person had made uh, up until that point, uh, and after I knew the kind of thing he had done, I couldn't listen to any of those songs any longer, no matter how much I used to like them before. And I, I, at a certain point I just had to, le de to delete them all from my computer. I just couldn't bring myself to listen to something. When, when I knew what kind of person had, had made them, I, I just am affected by this kind of thing and I can't understand if other people are not. And I can't understand why I shouldn't be. But I am. Oh, what a melon! Nice. Oh, wow, okay. Spider is pissed at me. I am affected by this kind of thing. I I don't know. I'm a weak person. I, But I am affected by this kind of thing. And it does affect uh, the things 
that uh, pe that people have made. Of course, this isn't the case of the person with the ultra arcomo. He didn't do anything bad. He didn't do any, and especially not this bad. So don't worry about it. But the example is the example. Uh, the uh, the the very basic point uh, is still the same. That uh, when one person does something that I do not agree with, uh, if it's uh, something I do not agree with in a strong enough way, I can't bring myself to enjoy and share the things that this person made any longer. And again, I understand if some of you do not agree with that. I understand perfectly the opposite point of view. But that is the way I see things and the way I do things and the way I feel about things. So again, the person who made the ultra Gomar didn't do anything, anything bad, he did not get into any trouble, this is simply something he said, something he did, that was very small and just Minecraft related, but uh, for me it was uh, a big enough deal to not want to have anything to do with the old Shard Gormard any longer. So the consequences of this uh, are a couple. First, uh, out of shovels. I'm not going to stop playing matches of Ultra Hardcore. This is because the Ultra Hardcore mod that the, we use for multiplayer is uh, the bucket version, which is made by a completely different person entirely. And since the idea of the mod does not belong to any of those people anyways, it belongs to good, I am fine with, uh, get back here, with playing the multiplayer version of the same mod. Even though I have stopped the playing matches of Ultra Hardcore recently, but that's for entirely different reasons and I will get back to it uh, one day. It's just that, uh, it's just that I, I don't want to play until I get a better internet connection because I'm kind of frustrated at that. That's, that's, that's it, that's the only issue I'm having with that. As far as this uh, series, this kind of let's play is concerned, it is based on your charcoal mod, so if I don't want to use that any longer, it means that this series has to come to a premature end. And this, has, this is going to be the last episode of it. I'm not sad about it. As I said, I do things, I do things that I believe are right, and I, so I feel good about it. Of course I'm a bit sad, but it's not the end of anything. I will start something else, and it's been an awesome adventure so far. I do not have any, I do not have any regrets. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm actually okay with this. Again, the 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 trash example. I know that me stopping this series here is not going to make any difference at all for the person who made the ultra hardcore mod. But I'm still going to do it, just like I'm still going to throw the trash in the trash bin, even if it's not going to change the world. It's still what I believe I should do, and so it's what I'm going to do. There is uh, the problem of Pesty Parcel instead. Pesty Parcel, I'm not going to abandon it until it's done, until this series, the second series, is over. That is because Pesty Parcel is not a project of mine, but it's a project of four persons right now and the uh, other team of persons who are doing the same thing against us. Um, you know, they're racing against us. So, uh... I can't give that up in the middle of it, because other people have put effort and thought into it and uh, I can't let them down, I can't stop this because of my own personal reasons. I'm just going to finish that series, I'm just going to keep playing and keep putting effort into it until it's done, and when it's done then yes, then it's done and if there's going to be a season 3 I'm not going to play in it. Back to Ultra Flatcore. Do I have alternatives? I've been thinking about this for a long while, and uh, yeah, I do have alternatives to just uh, stop in the series right here where I am right now. One alternative, for example, would be to keep playing without the Ultra Argo mod. But it would be missing the point. I mean, at that point, I could just start another one that is just a. Uh, 
a usual flat core challenge and uh, start from scratch, maybe even playing one point. Spider scares me. Point. Oh my goodness, you're here. Okay, you can stay there. He's still stuck there. Oh. Just, I, I, I could play in 1.4.7, maybe upgrade to uh, 1.5 whenever it comes out, but still, it, it, if I, instead of, I, I don't like the idea of playing this without the Ultra Flat com, uh, Ultra Art Command from the, this moment onward, I should keep, uh, <clears throat> I, I should just uh, start a new one instead, uh, it makes more sense that way. So, nope, um, I won't keep going with this without the mod installed that doesn't make sense to me and an alternative has been proposed to me by a person who knows how to make mods and was willing to make a copy of the old shortcut mod that works exactly like that except it was made from scratch and so the idea was to keep playing this series this challenge with that mod because that would solve the issue. It's the same mod, but made by someone else, so I don't have an issue with it any longer, right? Not really. <laughs> because I, for once, don't know about the, the legal implications of that. Uh, is that. Is that stealing a mod? Even if the idea doesn't belong to that person in the first place? What if we just credit good for the idea of the mod? Does that work? Um, that would be... I don't know, it seems like too much uh, trouble and I wouldn't want to get me or this person into into troubles just for, you know, just for a, a YouTube series. And then there's the more implications of that and uh, I don't know if uh, playing with the same mod but made by someone else would make me feel any better about it. No, I don't think I'm going to go with that. So, what else? Uh, I am perfectly okay with uh, just stopping this series right here as we are with with the pool table project barely started and lots of wood and dirt up here in the sky and just leaving this at that and uh, for the future I can just do different things, start a different series. Hmm. This has been a very nice journey. A little journey too, because we traveled very far. But uh, I want to stop this year for my reasons, uh, even if uh, my reasons are small and they're not going to make any difference. And uh, that's just the way I think things should go. And I sure hope none of you guys are going to be sad about this. You shouldn't be sad about this. I don't think anybody's going to be too sad if this series of it is going to end. I'm still a very small channel and uh, stuff. And as I said, I'm going to just start with something different. Also, what I'm sapling here. I'll just do something else. I'll have a different series where I play Minecraft and talk about things. So, so this isn't the end. This is just a new beginning. Also, if you have any idea about what I should do next, I'd like to hear them. I have a couple in mind. But if you have any suggestions, it would be awesome to hear them. So yeah, this is the end of Ultra Flat Core. <laughs> I hope you had as much fun as I had. But yeah, we're going to end this here. So thank you so much for watching, for listening to me, and hopefully for respecting my decision and understanding the reasons behind this. I sure hope you had fun. I hope you have... Uh, learned new things, you have enjoyed things, you have... I, I hope I made you smile <laughs> a couple of thing, a couple of times with my videos and uh, I will see you in... that's not a sapling. <laughs> Last thing I do is mess up a block placement and I will see you around <laughs> in different videos, in different series, doing different things, always for fun and for my and your enjoyment. So, <laughs> uh, have an awesome day and see you next time.